What is going on, everybody? Uh, the Sippy Show back at you. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about some football, baby, and some daggone uh, uh, baseball. Three and one, Southern Miss dropped the game last night uh, to our pops, our daddy, our grandfather in South Alabama. It seems like every sport, every game, every year, we're going to get beat by South Alabama. Accept it, embrace it, and let's move on from that topic. Southern Miss started the season 3-0, uh, where Mississippi State started 1-2. You know I love that shit. Anyways, uh, man, we're gonna get some we're gonna get some more wins on this thing. I, I know uh I know we dropped the game to South, and everybody's kind of it went to what 13 extra inning or 13 inning 13. Uh the game was like four or five hours long great i mean i'll be honest it was a great game uh just if, if you're a baseball fan uh it was an awesome game but uh you know southern didn't come away with the win so it was a shitty game um football it looks like ty Key's is the guy right now it's his job to lose we've heard that from will hall himself um trey low it looks like he's gonna be playing some quarterback he might be the backup um I know we, we talked about how we thought he was going to switch positions and possibly be a uh, tight end or something else on the offense. It doesn't look like that's the case right now, at least. Uh, Trey Lowe's still taking snaps. Uh, you still got Jake Lang back there. You got Zach Wilkie, who is uh, who's apparently came in. And as Will Hall said, he's got the it factor. Uh, Wilkie's a guy that uh, he says reminds him a whole lot of Michael Pratt there at Tulane. Uh, if y'all remember, Michael Pratt's the guy that came in uh, after uh, Keon Howard couldn't get the job done for Tulane against Southern Miss. The freshman Michael Pratt came in and beat Southern Miss. Uh, so, so hopefully this guy, Zach Wilkie, is spot, I mean, hopefully Will Hall is spot on with his comparison because, hell, um, I think the fact that Michael Pratt, Michael Pratt uh, and Tulane haven't you know, gotten up to the next level is because they lost the freaking OC, the quarterback coach, Will Hall. Uh, Will Hall's come to Southern Miss, obviously, and now he's recruiting his guys. Uh, he Last year, he got his guy, Ty Keys. This year, he got his guy, um, Zach Wilkie. So hopefully these guys, he's saying, have the it factor, and um, he's still beefing up Ty Keys. He said he liked what he saw against Grambling, he even said he liked what he saw against Alabama, even though we got beat. But Ty Keys did have a 20-something yard run in that game. But like I said before on previous streams, I don't I, – I want a throwing quarterback, baby. We, we come from a history of throwing quarterbacks. Brett Favre, Austin Davis, Nick Mullins. We could go on. Uh, Dustin Allman. Uh, these guys are known to throw the ball first, and if they couldn't find someone open, then they ran. Uh, it looks like Ty Keys has still got a little bit of learning to do, which is fine. The dude's a redshirt freshman. Um, he only played in four games last year, so he was able to get a red shirt. Uh, so, I mean, this guy's got plenty of time to learn under Will Hall. Uh, same with Zach Wilkie. Um, the, I know they're saying, you know, the job's up for grabs. Uh, they're, they're coming from a team that was 3-9 and nine last year, but I think, it's, I think Ty Keys has got it. That's just my opinion. I think Ty Keys is going to come away with this as the QB1, and and we're going to be chanting Keys, please. Keys, please. We're going to be doing something. We're going to come up with something for Ty. Uh, but, man, it's always going to be Gore for Heisman until the son of a gun leaves. Frank Gore is going to have a phenomenal year this year. I'm going to go ahead and bank on it. Dejon Richard, you're going to be right there with him, baby. Both of y'all going to go tick for tack, thunder and lightning, whatever the hell y'all want to call it. But, look. Southern Miss football, April 2nd. Oh, did I say that right? Yeah, April 2nd, Saturday at 11 o'clock is the spring game. I'm going to keep preaching about that, uh, speaking the word up. Get your tail to the spring game. Uh, Southern Miss baseball, I can't believe we lost to South Alabama. I can't believe it. <coughs> I'm still going to go with what I know and what I think. I think Southern Miss ends the season 49-6. and six. And I do think we're still going to a national championship. Now, after last night's game, a lot of y'all might say, Sippy, 
I, are you watching the same team I'm watching? Yeah. Yeah, I am. And, and our bats, I, we keep thinking our bats are hot. And our bats are, I don't think they are. I think we played North Alabama. Uh, North, yeah, we played North Alabama, and that's, that's kind of why it looked like we were as good as we was. But I predicted the national title. I predicted the 49-6 and six before the season even started. So I'm sticking with it. Uh, I, I really do have high hopes for the Golden Eagles. Um, I just hope we're able to – I hope we I hope we go to the tournament. I hope we host a regional, a super regional, all that crap. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think. And Southern Miss to the doggone top, baby!